get ready to cook with the best. Join our favorite chefs in the Taste Made Kitchen as they show you how to make restaurant quality dishes at home. It's time to make this tonight. What's up? I'm Darrell Smith, former NFL player, current CEO of 99 Eats and Amaze Balls. And today I'm making a Mediterranean crunchy fish platter featuring Gorton's crunchy breaded fish fillets. We're gonna serve that alongside a beautiful tabbouleh salad. We've got some rainbow carrots and we're gonna take the carrot tops from that and make a pesto out of it. And then we also have a lovely herbed yogurt to go along with it. What I'm doing now is I'm just shaving some of these tender greens off the top. And what we wanna do is just blanch them. And I'm gonna add just a bit of spinach to it, okay? So I'm gonna dump all of this into our pot of boiling water. And I'm only gonna leave this in there for a good 30 seconds. And so you may be wondering why I'm using carrot tops. I think it's just value. Like if I buy a vegetable and I have the ability to use all of it, why not use all of it? And I'm just gonna take this and put it in an ice bath. And what the ice bath does is it stops it from cooking and it preserves this beautiful color. Okay, so we'll sit this to the side. I have a food processor. We'll put our greens into our blender. We got a few ice cubes in there, I don't mind that. So now that we have our greens inside of our food processor, I'm gonna take some roasted pine nuts, put those in there. We've got two cloves of garlic. I like to give these just a little bit of chop before I put it into my uh, food processor. Boom. And we've also got some fresh Parmesan cheese. I like to add a little bit of hot sauce. It just gives it a little burst of flavor and a little bit of heat that I enjoy. Lemon zest. And we'll use half of the juice. Put this here to catch the seeds. Just pulse it a little bit, and then I'll just let that bad boy go. I'll add just a little bit of pepper to it, not too much. And then we'll just pour in our olive oil very slowly. I think that's good. Just scrape around the edges, I'll give it a little taste. Mmm, I like it. And I'll let you see how beautiful this color is. I'm gonna put that to the side. Our carrot top pesto is done and we're gonna get down to the main attraction, which is our Gorton's Crunchy Breaded Fish Fillets. I'm very excited about this because it takes me back to my childhood of my family going to South Carolina and my cousins would wake up early in the morning, crack of dawn and go fishing. And we would literally eat fish all day. The reason why I like Gorton's Fish Fillets specifically is that I do not have to bread them, I don't have to fry them and go through all of that mess. Instead, everything is already pre-done. The beauty about Gorton's Crunchy Breaded Fish Fillets is it's a wild Alaska Pollock and it's so versatile that you can season it like we're gonna do today with a little bit of Herb Provence. I like this because you get a little rosemary, you get a little bit of oregano, we got some tarragon in there and you could become Bob Ross and just add little things to it as you go along, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is season my carrots and put those on the other side. I take a little bit of olive oil, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper, and I don't want to over-season these because I still want that sweetness to come out from the carrots. There we go, don't overcrowd the pan. All of our carrots are situated. We got some space in between our fish. We're gonna pop this in the oven, 425 degrees, between 16 to 18 minutes. We'll flip after nine. The most important thing is that you want the internal temperature to be 165 degrees. And the beauty of this dish is that we're able to cook the carrots at the same time, and so we don't have to worry about flipping one thing and then flipping another. Less dishes is good for everybody. We'll get started on our couscous. We got some boiling water. We're just gonna put a little bit of lemon juice. And I like to add the lemon juice up front because I think that it infuses the couscous a little better. Ooh. And this couscous is gonna be for tabbouleh. We got some butter, we got some olive oil. I like to do this. I like to just stir it a little bit right there, right? 
and then I'll add the couscous. And if you've never made this, if you've never made couscous, it's the easiest thing that you'll ever make, I promise you. Because as soon as I put this in, I stir it, and then I literally put a top on, and I shut it off. And after like five minutes, you got a beautiful dish. Our couscous is nice and cool, and now we're to the fun part, where we get to add all of these colorful, beautiful, tasty ingredients. We've got our herbs here. I got a little bit of mint. I got some basil, and I also have some parsley. The key to making a really good tabbouleh is blending these herbs until they're like a fine herb dust, almost. Specifically with parsley. You really want that to be chopped down so you can get the full flavor of it. And we'll just blend this. Start it off with a chop. And then we really get it going. And that's good. That is the consistency that we are looking for out of this. And I'll just pour that in. It smells amazing. Whenever you add something like parsley with mint and also basil, there's no way you can go wrong. Your whole crib would just smell like a garden. And that's what we're going for. It's already starting to come together. And now I'm just gonna zest one lime. The longer you let something like this sit and all of those flavors just marinate together, it gets better with time. So if you wanna make this a few days in advance, you just let this sit in the fridge and then you could just make your fish fillets as you go along, right? That's good. Cut that. Give it a little squeeze. Do a strength and give you that other side of it, all right? What I'm gonna do now is add our colors. Now, I love these colors. You got a little green onion, we got some red onion, we got that tomato, and then we also get that crunch from that cucumber. I don't know, it gives it a little bit of brightness. And I will like to add a little bit of pepper to this, a little bit of salt, all right? just so we could bring out all of those flavors in here. Then I'll add a little bit of olive oil, and I'll just go. That should be enough. And if it needs more seasoning, I'll put a little more in at the end. We're gonna plate this in this beautiful bowl. And I like to just put it all in there. You smell it with all of that citrus, and those fresh herbs. Our tabbouleh is done, it's fresh, it's vibrant, it looks good, it's colorful. We're gonna go check on our fish fillets, which have been in the oven about nine minutes. Oh, you can hear that sizzle too. Man, that's beautiful. I just wanna flip these and we can get that beautiful color on the other side. Before I pop this back in the oven, I'm gonna hit it with a little more herb. And by the way, I mean, you don't have to necessarily season because they're excellent by themselves, but I like to add a little bit of pizzazz to my fish fillets. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Back into the oven, another nine minutes. They will come out beautiful and golden brown. All right, so our tabbouleh's done. We've got some herb yogurt that we're gonna mix with a little bit of sour cream. And then we're gonna put a few herbs in there. We got some mint, we got some basil, we have some thyme. I'll mix this up. This is a very easy way to capture those same flavors that you get from a tzatziki and just do it at home. And I'll finish it up just with a little bit of herbs to make it pretty. And that's that. Our herb yogurt is done. And now to remove our crunchy breaded fish fillets and beautiful rainbow carrots. Look how pretty that is. Mmm! Golden, light, flaky. I'm gonna put a little bit of zest on it. Not too much. It gives you that lemony flavor and it makes it look a little fancy. Now we plate it. So we've got our rainbow carrots. Carrots are plated. And now we will plate. We wanna plate up the star of the show. Our crunchy fish fillets. All right, you get that golden color. You get that nice crispy crunch. 
I want to make these look pretty. All right, so there we have it. We got our crunchy breaded fish fillets. We have a beautiful spread with something for everybody. I like to pile a nice mound of that tapuli right in the center. I'm gonna take a little bit of those carrots and I'm just gonna put those right to the side. And finally, we're gonna add our beautiful fish fillets to the top. Let's cross these. Okay, so we got the carrot top pesto. I'm just gonna smear a little bit right across the top of these carrots. And then I'm gonna hit that with a little bit of that herb yogurt. Boom. Okay. And then we'll hit it with a little bit of pine nuts, just so we know that it's in there. And here we have it. We have a beautiful dish. I'm gonna dig in. I get to eat some of that fish. Come here, baby. Mmm. The lemon zest and those herbs just take it to a whole different level. But you can tell that the fish is just so fresh tasting on its own. I think it's a wonderful dish and something for everybody. I'm gonna keep eating, but you enjoy it at home, and I'll see you later. <laughs>